For your chance to win a daily prize of £1,000, download the Raffler app today. There's a referral link in the description to the Google Play and App Store. Use that link and get an extra £100 bonus added to your daily prize. Also, over on G2A.com, use the promo code CHES to get a discount on your Xbox, PlayStation codes and games. Link in the description down below. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 58 of series 2 of My Player here on FIFA 16. We start with a home game against Tottenham that is particularly important. We could close the gap to them at the top of the table to just a couple of points. We also have Brighton midweek. Well, it's Friday, so it's been moved from the Saturday to the Friday in the FA Cup after brushing past Crystal Palace in the previous episode. As you can see, we could close the gap to just two points between ourselves and Spurs, although uh, Chelsea could get uh, up to 48 points as well themselves, so it'd be pretty particularly tight if we beat Spurs and Chelsea win it'd be 49 48 47 in the run for the title race so there's a lot to play for and hopefully we can play quite well and get three points we'll see what we can do drop the video a like if you enjoy subscribe to the channel too if you're new around here and without any further ado let's jump into the game against Tottenham Klein nice ball into Emre Chan. it's been in quite the attacking vein of form recently Emre Chan, and he plays me in here we'll pull that back and surely Balotelli eventually will make it 1-0 he does he should have taken that first time, but I mean, his touch was so bad that I'm probably glad he didn't take it first time. We get a 1-0 lead after just three minutes against Tottenham Hotspur. Could we have asked for a better start? I don't quite think we could have. Emre Chan into me, hold off Ryan Mason, drill it into the middle. That touch from Balotelli was so bad, but everybody stood off him and let him just volley it into the back of the net. 1-0 Liverpool. Balotelli. Oh, great footwork. Balo's on a run here. He's gone down. Free kick given. Good opportunity to perhaps make it 2-0 inside the opening 10 to 15 minutes. Do not take that quickly, Bojan. Good lad. Right, Ballo will take the free kick. Can he get his second? We'll see. He's going to shoot. It's on target. Good save by Hugo Lloris. And the defender can't keep it in. Only eight minutes in. And we might be able to make it 2-0 from the corner rather than the free kick. I'm loitering here on the edge of the box. It's drilled in. It's a rather poor corner, but... It might No, it's not going to drop to me. Nathaniel Klein will recover it, though. I'm here in support if he needs, but he's gone to Milner. Milner could come through the middle. Just dribbling past everyone. Here's Jordan Ibe into Emre Chan to me. See the run being made by... Is that Coutinho? No, it's Bozan. Great turn. Will for a second assist. No, Lloris denies us again. Fantastic goalkeeping from the Frenchman. Been brilliant so far in the opening 10 minutes to keep the scoreline down to just the one. There's the cross. Who's going to get there first? Oh, as soon as I praise his goalkeeping, although I don't suppose there was much he could do about that, Balotelli does score his second. What an electric start to this game. Unbelievable scenes. Four chances, two goals. Off the underside of the bar, crashing into the back of the net. Balotelli is on fire here, on a hat-trick already, and we're only 11 and a half minutes into the game. Mason into Christian Eriksen. Harry Kane in front of him. Will he play him in? He's playing around the corner. He's offside, Harry Kane. Decent dugout effort. Good save by Minilay, but unfortunately for the England striker, he was the wrong side of the defensive line. Take the throw quickly. Nathaniel Klein brings it down into Emre Chan. I'm going to offer myself down the line, although Nathaniel Klein can play it inside to me here now. I have to try and keep it away from Dembele. We've done well. We'll look to finesse it into the back of the net. We've hit the inside the post. We could be 3, 4, 5 nil up right now inside the opening half an hour, but it's still just the two. Harry Kane goes back to Ben Davis, drills it into Christian Eriksen, struggles to get it under control, but does eventually do so. We intercept the part, well, at least get a block on the pass, but it drops back to Christian Eriksen. Into Nasser Chadley, into the box. Who's going to get there? It's Moussa Dembele, but unfortunately for him, well, well wide. Tottenham starting to come forward a little bit more, but so far, no real goal threat from them. Bojan does well to get it out to me. I've got Nathaniel Klein going on the overlap, but we'll put that through to Bojan. Please get there and please tell me you were onside. Well, he was onside and he did get there, but he didn't score. It is going to be a corner, though, to Liverpool. What a game this has been, by the way. End to end, so many chances at this end and a couple for Tottenham at the other. But so far, just the two goals. He pulls that back looking for Bojan Jordan I, but Kyle Walker's going to sprint off with it and they could get themselves a counter-attack here into Harry Kane, who unfortunately has not got the pace to get away for Tottenham and Bojan's given it back to Christian Eriksen. Like I say, end to end, possession just changing hands constantly. Chances at both ends, but still just 2-0 as we head five minutes before half-time. Not even halfway through this game yet. Chadley, oh, save a touch, I couldn't quite turn my feet around, Harry Kane, good save by Mignolet, one or two, perhaps if they get something from the corner, final chances for Tottenham to get one back before the break, 
So this video is going to be so long if this game keeps up like this. Moussa Dembele with the overhead kick straight at Mignolet. They did get a second effort. We are going to go in at the break with a 2-0 lead, but oh my word, what a first half. You can tell there's so much on the line here for the two sides. Tottenham trying to open up a gap at the top of the table and ourselves trying to actually close the gap at the top of the table. We could play Balo around the corner. We could end the half even 3-0 up. No, Lloris with the save. I cannot even begin to explain to you how ridiculous this game is. Hopefully it's coming across in the video because I can barely keep up with what's going on. That corner is going to be headed behind by Eric Dyer. It's time for another one here. It's going to be 10 minutes long, this video, before we even get to half-time in the first game. I may even... Oh, can I get on the end of that header? Lovren! No! Is it Lovren? I'm not even sure. It's Lovren and Lloris going for it. We get a couple of accomplishments. This game has been so crazy to this point. If it continues into the second half, I may make this a one-game special as like a top-of-the-table clash because it's just been unbelievable so far. Walker. Ball into Harry Kane. To Ryan Mason. Back to Kane again. Don't think he quite wanted it back in that particular position, but Dembele will find Chadley here. There is space out wide for Ben Davies. Pushing forward. I'll try and follow the run of Chadley and then maybe close him down, but I can't get near him. He's done well there, Ben Davies. He's got Dembele in support. Forward to Harry Kane. Could have a shot here. Decides to play in... Oh, Grant Ward. Is it Grant Ward? No. Oh, Dembele! It's a second ac acrobatic and extravagant attempt from Dembele in this game. I don't know why I said Grant Ward. I think Grant Ward is a character out of a TV program that I watch. I don't know where I got Grant Ward from. Apologies to any Tottenham fans who do actually know what his name is. But Angel Correa is coming on for Harry Kane. Clearly not doing the business for Mauricio Pochettino. And he feels that the extra pace of Angel Correa could actually help them score a couple of goals here. We'll have to wait and see. Still 35 minutes to go. Bojan back to Emre Chan. He's going to come forward here. Which way is he going to go? I'm not sure he knows at the minute. Surrounded by Tottenham players, but has managed to find a defence. Or Lovren, who found Brad Smith. And here's Emre Chan on the ball again. Could shoot. He's got support. There's Balotelli. There's Bale. Bale could pull it back to Balotelli. Mario on a hat-trick. Hits the outside of the post. It's a corner, though. Did Lloris get a fingertip on that? I'm not sure. We'll have a look. Oh, it hit the post and then hit Lloris and went out. Wow, OK. Right, corner to come in. Seven minutes till full time. Corners whipped in. Keepers come for it. Doesn't get there. Emre Chan makes it 3-0. Lloris dithered from a cross after 11 minutes for Balotelli to score the second. Didn't really th feel like he could have got to the first one. But this one, he came for, got nowhere near. And Emre Chan powers in the header. It's been a slower second half. The first 45 was just absolutely relentless. Non-stop. In the, uh, in the first period, but in the second it's been very, very slow. Clearly people just too tired after that electric opening 45, but we have still been able to extend our lead. 3-0 just before the end. Bojan's very happy. There goes the final whistle. A ridiculous first half, followed by just a normal second. I don't think anybody could keep up the intensity of the first half, but it's a 3-0 victory here against Spurs. We will have a second game, considering there weren't that many highlights from the second half, although this video may be quite long. So if you're enjoying, make sure you drop the video a thumbs up. So uh, I know that you guys enjoyed that first half, because that was crazy to record. Just absolutely breathless in commentary, just constantly having to commentate on something that was happening on the pitch. We'll head now into the next game, which is the one against Brighton in the FA Cup. After a quick train, maybe our free kick accuracy can go up slightly. Obvious ball is Nathaniel Klein down the line there. And is he going to return it to me? He has done. I'm going to go for the worldie. I can't resist from that range. Unfortunately, it's a good save by David Stockdale. So we're going to stay at 0-0 for now. Brighton are a very capable team, though, it has to be said. One of the better sides in the championship. But Brad Smith's going to get himself in trouble here for a challenge after the ball had gone. Yellow card for the young left back. But nine to ten minutes in, still no real action. Balotelli into Smith. Balotelli again. He's enjoying getting forward here. Smith, the young left back. Emre Chan around the corner to Milner. Milner to Yesil. Oh, I should have called for that, but Milner's going to fire over the top of the bar. Oh, I really should have called from that from Yesil. I was about to press the button, and he just passed it first time to Milner, and he just slices it slightly. It goes over the top of the bar. We are having chances, though, which is good. Hopefully it won't be long before we get ourselves in front. Ibe into Balotelli. To Ibe again. Here's Emre Chan. He's going to slot me in. I'm waiting for Nathaniel Klein to make the run, but we'll play that to Samuel Jessiel instead. Forced himself a little bit wide, but he's returned the ball to me, and I'm going to shoot. I probably should have passed it, but the ball will end up in the back of the net regardless. Liverpool 1, Brighton 0. Nice ball back into me by Samuel Jessiel. And to be fair, I really should have just 
gotten away with the risk of the shot and passed it square to the two people that were waiting at the back post. But a little bit of tunnel vision. Got a very, very greedy there, but never mind. Emery Town was just waiting for the pass, but decided to shoot myself. I'm glad I did, but still the manager would probably have wanted me to pass it. Never mind. Liverpool won Brighton nil nonetheless. We are taking the free kick out wide, unfortunately, rather than in the middle. So I can't really shoot from this position, but we will float it in towards the middle and see if anyone can get on the end of it. Oh, well, they do, but it's Dale Stevens, unfortunately, not. Uh, a Liverpool attacker James Milner to take the corner where will this end up it's coming towards me at the near post Jordan I oh, could have flicked that backwards towards me but decided to flick it towards goal but it was comfortable for the keeper to deal with give this to Klein down the line Ballo's there good opportunity here for us Ballo looking to get around the outside he's forced backwards I was about to call for that but he's just pinged it all the way over there instead not really too sure why but it seems judging by what they just said in the top left, that Roberto Firmino has been sold to Inter Milan. Samaj Yesil into Brad Smith. So we have lost one of our better forward players. Whether the manager will replace him in this window or not, I'm not sure. We sold Benteke, Danny Ings and Daniel Sturridge already since we arrived here at Liverpool. We now have Balotelli and Samaj Yesil as our two front players. We do still have Divock Origi though, has to be said. Forgot about him, and, well, I'd rather Origi was playing, to be honest, because Yesil's shooting hasn't been on point today at all. But Firmino has gone to Inter Milan. I'll have a look in the news tab once we get out of the game to uh, have a closer look at that deal and see what he went for. That's a strong challenge, but they will play on here, Brighton. Buko, good, great cross actually, flicked on. Minile can only punch as far as Solly March, who cracks it off the under the side of the bar with a wonderful first time volley. Brighton surely should have taken the lead there. Incredible strike from Solly March. Can't quite believe he hit it that well. Comes back off the underside of the bar and we live to fight another day. Should have been 1 1 there, but thankfully for us, oh, it was cleared away. There goes the final whistle. It's going to be 1-0 to Liverpool against Brighton. A much more comfortable, slow-paced, down-to-earth kind of game for Liverpool here against Brighton. Not many chances in it. Brighton perhaps should have gotten themselves an equaliser with that cannoning effort off the bar from, uh, from Sully March. But it's our goal that makes the difference. Only five chances in the game as a whole. A lot different to the one against Tottenham. But still the same result. A victory for Liverpool. We'll have a look at the news tab and see what happened to Firmino, there we go, well done Brain, you managed to catch up with yourself. Uh, news, club news. Uh, Liverpool's Chesnoy might go for a hefty fee. Okay, Sevilla apparently interested. Uh, I'm also targeted by Dortmund. Liverpool undecided between Pjanic and Goethe, okay. Uh, I can't see anything about... I can't see anything about Firmino, unfortunately. It seems the deal has gone through and we can't find out what he went for, which sucks, unless I'm being blind, but I don't think there's anything here. I'm apparently in high demand though, but I don't really want to leave Liverpool. We're on a march towards the, uh, the FA Cup final and we're doing very well in the BPL as well. Only, like we said at the beginning of the episode, could be 49, 48, 47. That is exactly what it's turned out to be. With 15 games to go in the BPL, the title could go anywhere and I want to stay and fight for that Barclays Premier League title. Bournemouth up next in the next episode and then Newcastle after that, although perhaps an FA Cup tie will be scheduled before then, although I doubt it. Maybe actually on the first weekend of February. We will have to wait and see. And forgot, we're still in the Europa League too. On the march for a European trophy also with Monaco in the first knockout round. But that's going to be all for today's episode. Drop the video a thumbs up rating if you haven't to this point. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time.